Alex Navarro. Vinny Caravella. Here we are, back farming again. How are you? Oh man, the last time we did farming, I was real not happy with how all that went. Please tell me we're in a better situation this time. Well, I've got good news and I've got bad news for you. The, okay. the good the good news is, yes, we are in a better situation. The bad news might be that it is not a perfect situation. We are in Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, and of course, since we are doing this now, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sit for a second here. Actually, let's sit mm -hmm. uh, sit so we're facing the camera. We're gonna okay. sit. We're gonna do the Harvest Moon Story of Seasons bit one more time. Hopefully, hopefully one more time. Um, this is Story of Seasons. This was the series that was released in Japan as Story of Seasons that was then released in the United States as Harvest Moon for a very long time. Right put out in the United States by Natsume. Uh, about 10-ish years ago, um, the makers of Story of Seasons, Marvelous, went with a different US publisher, or distributor, Exceed, uh, and started putting out those games, Stories of Se Story of Seasons, AKA Harvest Moon in the United States, as Story of Seasons in uh -huh. the United States. That then split off Harvest Moon into its own thing, um, uh, Natsume went on to continue using the Harvest and Moon name and brand, but completely different style of game. Or not completely different, but took the games down a different but path. Different. different path. So if you're a traditional Harvest Moon person, Story of Seasons is really the franchise you're probably going to want to follow if you're looking for that. We have right. a quick look up of what current Harvest Moon is. I don't think it's very good. You can go check yeah, that the, out. The state of the brand is bad, in fact. Yes, so uh, if you're coming looking for uh, a tradi more traditional Harvest Moon game, then this is it, and also by virtue, this is the series that continues that legacy. Hopefully that is enough. Uh, maybe the last time I have to run through that whole bit. But here we are, Story of Season Pioneers of Olive Town, the mm -hmm. la latest in the Story of Seasons games. This is my farmer. Um... Uh, I'm gonna warn you in advance. My kids have come up with most of the names in this games uh, in this game. So this is mm -hmm. a uh, likely story. I, uh, this is Dadissima, uh, my farmer. This is my dog Husko, the husky. Okay, uh, you can pet the dog. Fantastic. We're off to a great start. Yeah, this is my house. I'm about. Um, we can check the play clock here. Let's take a look. I'm gonna say it's 20-ish hours again here. Playtime about 26 hours in, okay. uh, in, into this. So some farming has been done. We're gonna start a new fresh day here, and uh, uh, I'll take you around the farm. How, do, what, how does that sound to you? It's like a plan to me. Okay. Um, this game is fifty dollars. It is available on the Switch uh, right now. It is available on the Switch exclusively. Will this game come to PC? I don't know. Uh, okay. The, the, there's a chance it could. I think uh, Friends of uh, Mineral Town, where I think is the other one that, that they remade, did wind up having a PC port at some point. Uh, I would like to see this on another platform that's not the Switch. My biggest beef with it is performance. Right. It, okay. it, I, I do not think this performs well. Oh, okay. I'm is also that true good. both in handheld and in docked mode? Uh, it is true in docked mode, uh, okay. so uh, I don't know how it holds up in handheld. I will also say I'm still in year one here. Uh, uh -huh. There could be possible spoilers as holidays come up or things happen for story story reasons. I have not found the story to be <laughs> potentially spoilerific, uh -huh. but uh, I, I will just say that up front in case you okay, see something. Okay, good to know. Okay. Who's Simon? What's his deal? Uh, he lives in the town. He lives in Olive Town. All right. I think he might be one of the pi early pioneers of Olive Town. Okay. He seems like he's been pioneering for a while. You know, he's a pioneer in, in the sky, you know? He's, mm -hmm. a ri yes. he's a rider in the sky. Uh, so, you know, every month or every season, uh, there are four of them in the game. Every season, there's kind of a holiday or two that um, you can participate in. And that mm -hmm. was one of them uh, here in the autumn. So... Let's get started with the game, and we'll kind of go through it. Now, um, I'm going to warn you. Hold on to your butt. I think the okay. performance in this game is a, is pretty rough. Uh, okay. And as, as my farm has grown, it has gotten worse. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, uh, again, this is pretty far in. So it's a rainy day, which probably doesn't do much for the performance as well. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I have gotten used to a lot of the performance stuff, but I still... Uh, I am also not somebody who performance necessarily bothers me if it's minor performance stuff this is egregious enough where it has bothered me 
uh, okay. and been a, been a problem. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm noticing this right away. And I mean, again, this is maybe not a game where, like, you have to have frame-perfect animation, you know, to play it, but I could see this being very distracting. Uh, yes, it gets in the way. So, uh, here is my general farm. Uh, you lay out your, you can lay out your plots of, of soil, and I'm not gonna go into how to farm, you can figure that out on your own, but uh, generally this is how you lay out your plots of soil or one way to do it. You can get sprinklers pretty early on. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the sprinkler will do these kind of eight plots of soil in a circle, like a donut. So why not lay them out around the sprinkler and then do that so you never have to water your plants ever again. That seems reasonable yeah. to me. Seems and that is, what I, that is what I have done. Uh, seeds will have seasonality, so you want to plant the things that are in season. Some things that are uh, seasonal across seasons. So some things will be viable in, you know, summer and fall. Uh, inventory management, you know, I'm not going to knock it for it. It is, it is what it is. What right. is a, a, a nice thing in this game? Of course, you unlock different tiers of the bag as you go. I've unlocked them all by this point. A nice thing in this one is that you can uh, hide your tools just in your in your tool Hide bag. your tools, Vinny. Hide your, put your tool away. Don't let anybody see it. Uh, Don't hide leave your tool that flapping your, out there. <laughs> you can put your tool in your tool bag uh, if you need to free up some room, which uh, really does help. Uh, so you do have that dedicated tool bag. I almost wish at some point they just let you unlock another row that was just your tool, your tool bag, dedicated tool bag, so you don't even have to bring them back out. Uh, that's, I feel like that would be helpful. But that being said, uh, yeah, you're, you're gonna manage your inventory. It is not the only thing you're gonna manage in this game that might drive you up a wall. So um, it is not my biggest gripe mm -hmm. with the gameplay. Uh, I will show you. Is there no what? way to just sort of auto pick up everything that's kind of on the ground or? Does it uh, it didn't seem like it. If I my okay. bag were empty, it, it would have it would have just jumped into my bag since it was not empty. It had, right. had to pick it up off the floor. Gotcha. Uh, okay. So what 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 I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drop um, I'm gonna drop four of these into my bin here, okay. and I'm gonna I'm gonna sell the rest. I'm gonna go um, kind of your standard chipping bin. Oops, that's not what I want to sell. Let's go pull that back in. No, give me back my glass rock. Yeah, take your okra. Uh, we're gonna sell that. Do you like okra? Um, I don't have an opinion really. Like, okay, okay. yeah, depends how it's uh, prepared. So, Certainly. Uh, I'm gonna quit. It's prepared here. well. Okra, delicious. But yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna collect these things. So this is what would have happened if my bag were empty on harvest. Mm. It would have just jumped Got out it. of my bag. So I'm collecting these. Uh, yeah. So my bag is full again. I should uh, I should clean out what's in my bag. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no, that bin's full too. Uh, I'm gonna. Everything's move. full. Everything's full. Um, can I build a bin? I'm gonna put some of my tools away. Usually, I try to keep them out. Uh, I'm gonna put them away. For the sake of this. There we go. And again, now I have to pick these back up. Right. So, it's full. so seed maker uh, lets you. You get it. Uh, not too too late in the game, which is a nice thing. Let's you take stuff that has been grown, uh, mix it back up into seeds. You can see there's star ratings on each thing. Mm -hmm. So this is a four star, um, a four star green pepper. Oh yeah. Uh, I, have, I have two of them and the peppers will produce seeds and now I can make a next generation, hopefully better star version of it. So, so you've got uh, some five star vegetables over on the, uh, on the right there. Yeah, and that gets you more money. So you can use the seed maker. When you buy stuff, I think it's zero stars or two. I can't remember exactly what it is. But, um, but you know, the higher the star rating, the better. You can see these are six-star melon seeds. So I'd plant those again, mm. save save some, turn them into seeds, and um, and be kind of done with it. And, and then hopefully get better stars. All right, so that's the seed maker. So the thing that, um, thing that this game has, and uh, people who have stayed with the franchise for a while uh, maybe can fill in in the comments some of the my blank spots here. They have th these things called makers. Um, you know, the maker space. They have these things yeah. called makers where you can take raw materials, and this, I, I even remember this from some of the older Harvest Moon games, but this seems to take it to a, a, a really, to an extreme here. So, uh, things like lumber makers, ingot makers, where you're gonna take raw materials and process them, my beef with it is, in order to process wood here, you put a log in, like this supple log. Mm. Alex, this supple log. Um, could, could you say that that way one more time? 
Alex, you're gonna take this supple log. Okay, and put there it we in, go. Uh, and and you're gonna stick it in. You're gonna, you're gonna stick your supple log in the hole. Uh-huh. Uh huh. In the lumber the, maker. In the lumber maker in the mill. Uh, and you can only do you can only process one at a time, as far as I can see. Which means you wind up making fields of these things because you constantly need supple logs and durable right. logs. And I'm all always sorts saying that. So you wind up doing this, right? You go through and you're like, bop, bop. 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 Bop, And so then you wait for these to run down, you collect them all, and you do it again. And there are different types of, of lumber. Um, and uh, some of them are easier and some of them are harder to chop down as you kind of progress throughout the game. So that's what the makers do, and they, they will process your raw materials. This is a mayonnaise maker. I'll take my eggs and make make a mayonnaise. This Ooh, will take us. Uh, yeah, mayonnaise. This will take some milk uh, and make um, yogurt. This will take uh, milk and make butter. And this will take milk and uh, that'll take milk and make some cheese. All right. Okay. So that's the makers. Uh, I really wish there were a way, at least maybe later in the game. I don't know if there is now. I have two things. One is, so you can see this is where my ingot makers are. Mm -hmm. Ma basically making gold. Um, and by gold, I mean literally gold. Not that I have become some in, uh, tycoon who sells yogurt. I know. I'm just making gold now. Uh, right. But I need I need to have tons of them, and you can make up to twenty, I believe, of these, because they do one at a time, and you just constantly need this stuff: silver, iron, and gold. So, I do wish maybe they give you a thing later on that's like, hey, you can make ten at a time or something, uh, so okay. that you can queue it up, uh, or you can put a bin. I wish you maybe this does happen again. I'm you know, about twenty five hours in. Maybe it does unlock at some point. I am still unlocking stuff. Put a bin near here, which dr these things will draw from. Uh, at least so I don't have to feed them. I still have to collect one at a time, but I can. I don't have to feed them. Which may sound like not a thing that's in the game, but you'll see in a second. This is my silo. Um, this is a silo. This is silage, which mm -hmm. I didn't really know silage. the difference. Thank you, silage. And uh, what this does is, if you have an automatic feeder in your coop or barn, it will pull the fodder out automatically. So you can you okay. can you can do this to say, hey, pull it from the thing. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, those chickens look weird, man. I love it. I love how they look. I'm gonna give them all pets. So we're gonna yeah. pet our chickens, make them all happy. Uh, you wanna get the music notes. Sometimes um, if they have like a, a smile over their face, you can pet them twice. Uh, sometimes if they have a happy face, you can pet them twice. You, you get used to it. <laughs> Let me tell you, mm -hmm. 20 plus hours in, you, you get pretty used to when uh, they're gonna stop giving you the music. You notes. get pretty. You, you gotta. Come, you come to know when it's time to pet your chicken. <laughs> That's right. So I have one in the. I got three chickens here uh, in Coop Deville, and I got one in the hopper here, which uh, is uh, another uh, silky chicken, uh, which I have bred Silkapoo, uh, mm -hmm. and that's um, gonna hopefully hatch in, in a few days. Uh, so, oh, I did not know you can grow seeds. I don't think you can grow seeds here. Uh, I always love when you're on something else, like say this uh, mayonnaise, and then you're standing over your animals and it just says, eat or pet. <laughs> it's like, These are valid questions. <laughs> These are things we all have to ask ourselves. Hmm. Yes. And it, Do you and eat it the mayonnaise not... or pet your chicken? <laughs> Hmm, I always assume it is eat the eat the chicken or pet the chicken. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do today? You know, it depends what Bluterman really. Uh, you can, if it were not raining, I'd be able to let my um, let my animals out. They call it put out to pasture, which is not the phrasing I would necessarily use for letting my animals roam free to eat. Yeah, uh, there's maybe another <laughs> connotation to that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> a man shows up with an axe if you put them out to pasture. This is a They're going a out rabbit. behind the barn. Uh, you can yes, right. The, not to graze. This is a rabbit. You can get rabbit fur. This mm -hmm. is an al alpaca, uh, which was one of my favorite uh, kids' uh, names for the animal. Cheer Pac Man because okay. it was a che cheery alpaca. Uh, I like the, it. the animals have moods. This is Sheepo Beepo. Uh, you can also get wool from uh, the sheep. Again, you get these animals. This is my smaller barn in which I have kept the animals that I uh, shear in there. Mm -hmm. My shearing barn. And then over in the big barn in uh, Barnathan, you can uh, get, uh, I have put all my milking animals. So this is a goat, Van Goethe. I like that. And then you have Van Goethe. Mm -hmm. 
and then we have uh, almond milk. Um, and that, those were not kids' names. These are I got those later in the game. This is whole milk, and this is how now. All so right. So this is yeah. These are how my now milk cow. That's right. That's right. Uh, and again, you want to pet them again until you get the the music notes. I'm gonna leave some stuff on the ground just in terms of um, for this quick look. I'm not gonna ma manage my inventory for the whole quick look. So right. Um, this be this beautiful mil uh, goat milk product here. Uh, I'm gonna leave for now. But based on uh, my limited experience with these games, that is kind of the experience: is a lot of inventory management. It's a decent amount. Usually, I'm a little bit better because I'm going off routine here. I'm, yeah. I'm going a little bit off my routine. This is not uh, how your day would normally go. No, not usually. I, I'd go and I'd do all the processing first. I'd do all the crops first. And then I'd do all the metals and stuff. Then I'd come and, and do all the animal stuff. And throughout that course, I would be dropping stuff into different places. But for now, um, you know, I'm just going to kind of run through the mechanics here. Uh, and this is not the save I will go forward on. Again, you can you can put each uh, set of animals outside, which means they wouldn't they wouldn't necessarily eat all your fodder inside, mm. which is good. Uh, I've grown some fodder out here, so I can refill my um, silos. So that is Hello, the mother. Hello, fodder. Uh, -huh. uh I am growing marijuana. The uh, Ma marijuana, please. Uh, ma marijuana. Um, so that that is the farming and the uh, uh, the, the kind of uh, livestock and the farming ends of it. Let's look a little bit at the. Um, let's look a little. I'm just going to dump some stuff in a bin to free up an inventory space. Let's look a little bit at the other Horsey. resources. Yeah, and you can and you can kind of see the, the where the frame rate just kind of dives at points. Yeah, uh, and, it doesn't and seem to like the trees. Like whenever you have to kind of duck behind some trees, that's when it seems to kind of dip. So I have noticed that too, and again, I'm just sorry for people who are like me and like to have things organized. This is driving me a little bananas as well. So uh, I share your pain as I'm just dumping random stuff in this bin here, but I do need to clear some space for my, get my tools back out. So let's take a look at some of these tools. No, I'll show you the tool. Uh, let's get this out. Let's get this out. You're so saucy today. I know. It's a farming. That's what a week off does to you, man. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It's definitely not the, uh, I'm off the painkillers, so it's not that. It's the Tylenol. Um, and, uh, and the thing here. Yeah, I apologize if my voice gets scratchy. It's, uh, it's probably the ah, most I've talking talking real. Um, so, the, yeah, I've noticed that as well with the, um... The trees. The trees, which makes it very satisfying to just mow this place down completely and as you upgrade your axe you can see i've got golden axe here uh you can do this very efficiently it's very efficient you just you just clear cut Ooh. Uh, so, yeah, you just go and you you just you're, it's gone uh and yeah that's very satisfying uh and so the grass will slow you down when you're moving, which doesn't help with this perception of frame rate stuff, because mm -hmm. it just looks like your character kind of slows. But the grass also is mechanically slowing you down. Let's clear some more trees. So this is how you get your lumber. Again, uh, as you, and I am leaving stuff on the ground here, yes, that's intentional. As you go through the game, you get upgrade your ax, these trees become easier to chop, and also the range of your chop widens. So those are trees that I have planted. Um, Ooh, this water uh, water siphoning. Yeah, yeah. I'll get to that in a moment. Um, okay. So you you open up different areas. This middle area here that I am currently in with this little lake or a pond rather uh, is a second area. You open up by completing objectives, usually by bringing resources or money to a place. And this is the third area you open up. Uh, so this is the later area, and you will find dilapidated buildings like this one that you can invest resources in to repair. Uh, let me kind of get in on that. Uh, so this one's 50 Mirage Lumber, uh, 50 or Calcum uh, Ingots, a suction pump, 20 of them. Some Olive Crystal. Those I've had trouble sourcing, uh, okay. so I have not, not been able to do that. The Mirage Lumber, which might be this, uh, you'll see how long it takes to chop down. So it, uh, yeah, so that's, that's fairly late game stuff. I'm not even sure exactly where to get the olive crystals, and I'm pretty sure the orichalcum ingots are um, either deep in the mine or in some special places I'll show off later. But uh, here is slightly more, ag uh, less aggressive lumber, but it's it still, um, oh, that, that goes down fairly quickly now. I'll find, let's see, it must be this. 
I uh, still have a little trouble with this. But you can see I, I can take it down yeah. eventually. Um, so that's, Will that's your the golden axe eventually break? or No, no. Okay. So this game is very forgiving. Uh, if you run out of stamina, you will pass out and wake up the next day, but there will be no penalty for it other than you, you make up, may wake up a little later in the day and you may have fewer hearts when you wake up. I know uh, how that goes. But, but, uh, but unlike something like um, uh, Stardew Valley, it's not like somebody's going to pick your pocket or you're not going to lose items. Uh, and uh, if you stay out past 2 o'clock, same thing. You'll pass out and you'll wake up later on. Let's go take a look in the mines. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, again, somebody who has stayed with these series uh, can let me know what's going on here. But I don't know when mines became a huge thing. I know Stardew Valley has them and it is a big part of it. They are not my favorite parts of these games, but boy, it seems like uh, Stardew and that Last Harvest Moon game we played and this one to some extent are pretty reliant on you mining a lot. So kind of sim Yes, uh, and it is a nuisance. Um, you can hammer it uh, in different mines and different levels of the mines. They change difficulties. Let's see if I can get up on it. It's gonna come out as a little radius in which it blasts you and then you can bop them. Um, and nice. once you get rid of, rid of it, it sometimes drops a little treasure. I usually just ignore them at this point um, because uh, they will come back. Uh, on different levels online. I mean, also, so you're it, in their home, really. You're kind of messing up their whole true. deal. I really am. Um, they knock you, you lose some hearts, but uh, this is where you, you mine your, your ore. The entrance, kind of like Stardew and kind of like that last Harvest Moon game uh, we played. Uh, again, those are the ones I'm just referencing because I'm most familiar with them. Uh, the entrance will sometimes be hidden under a rock for the next layer in, in the mine. Sometimes mm. we'll just be out in the open. So... It sometimes will make you use up your stamina searching uh, searching around for that next entrance. Uh, again, this isn't my favorite mechanic in, in these games, but it seems- Oh, there you go. It seems maybe here to stay, I don't know. Uh, and as you make it deeper down, you get to better- um, Yeah, I better there's some different resources there. Yeah, uh, this you can uh, scoop up with your hoe. Um, I'm sorry. You you scoop up with your hoe. That's right. It's another farming game and a, another uncomfortable journey of me having to say ho uh, in, in a lot of You can't of see me ways. blinking, but I promise I am. <laughs> That's right. Uh, this is really what you want to look out for down here. Just heads up. This will get you uh, usually a bunch of stuff and um, th sometimes oh, yeah, a that's diamond. That's juice right there. Yeah, sometimes a diamond will pop out and um, those are worth, uh, if you refine those, those are worth like 10 grand. So you, you want to get... You want to get your hands on those. Damn, you see, man, it's almost... like 9.30 at night. You're still out here mining. Yeah, I might have to jump back in. So, uh, this is gold. Uh, this one, this mine, I think goes down 40-ish levels. Oh, uh, boy. It gets a little, yeah, and it gets a little rough near the bottom. And uh, I haven't made it all the way down to 40, so I can't say that for certain. And I think that orichalcum starts popping up in the late 30s. Again, I haven't seen it. I did have to look a little bit of stuff up. This game isn't out at the time of this recording, but there, of course, are some guides up. It's been out in Japan. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, uh, again, if you don't get out of there by 2 a.m., you will pass out and then wind it back in your home. Uh, let's show off a little of the fishing since I have the heart. Just in time now. for last call. That's right. I'm going to fish in. Oh, uh, I'll explain this. So, you can go... Uh, this is a big pond. There are smaller ones like this that you can drain with your bucket. Uh, and at the bottom of these are treasure chests. Oh. Uh, what's in the treasure chest is, you know, seems fairly random. Uh, but that big one takes water pumps to drain. Or you can do it with the bucket, I guess, if you want to be there all day and night and all day again. But, um, you know, this is up to you. <laughs> This is how, you know, you can is upgrade Is there any reason why you would want to leave these alone? Like, do you need water at any point for your stuff, or does it really not matter? Uh, this is not where you'd get the water. Okay. Uh, you, you can get the water from a well. Uh, I generally leave these alone unless I'm really struggling for something to burn hearts on, you know, or stamina. Mm -hmm. um, which sometimes I am. I'm just like, oh, it's it, like this. It's like, oh, it's late in the day. I've got some extra hearts. I, I should just, oh, crap. There's again, I'm doing a poor well, great job. Great news, with Vindy, my you're a superior room. drainer now, so. Good for you. <laughs> uh, and this will eventually, over time, drain this out. If fed with um, coal, uh, they will run out of coal. 
drain this out automatically. There will be some kind of treasure at the bottom. I can cash it in in town, which we will go look at tomorrow morning. Uh, now seems like so, a good time to go get some rest. Yeah, I'm gonna go rest up. Uh, I could be riding Not in my the haunted house. I could be riding my horse around, uh, which would make things a little faster. I wouldn't get that necessarily that slow down in the grass I get. And make yeah, you know, ride your horse better. to town tomorrow. Okay, I will do. Will do. Uh, I'll see right your horsey. Jaunt back to my house. And yeah, I'm kind of bummed that this game doesn't run better. Like, uh, you know, it's like I said, I, I don't think it necessarily yeah. destroys the experience or anything, but you would think if this is the only platform you're putting this game on right now, you would kind of develop it with the limitations of that system in mind. Yeah, yes. Uh, and I'm starting to, I don't know, I'm, I'm like, I have a little bit of a uh, maybe misplaced anger at the Switch, um, being mm -hmm. like, "Man, are you just not powerful to handle this stuff?" Like, or do you? On the Switch Pro comes, you will get the the real story of season experience. <laughs> uh, so, 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 yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, Nintendo on their first party efforts have had trouble with some frame rate stuff mm -hmm. and performance. Um, so, you mentioned me leveling up the draining. Uh, you do have skills that by doing them, you level up. And you do get rewards uh, with each thing. So you can kind of see on the right-hand side there, obtainable traits, obtainable recipes, which um, is nice. As you as you do these things and level them up, you will get uh, rewarded for it. So let's go to sleep and we'll head into town. So I know a lot of people play these games. I know for a fact a lot of people play these games because they like the social parts of them, the giving yes. gifts, the characters that are in them, the kind of uh, ro uh, relationship stuff, the romantic stuff. That's not, I, I don't, I, I don't care for right. me, for me. I want to, I'm here to, not what you're uh, pill, I'm here to pillage the land and make money. Oh, mm. look, my, my chick matched. Maybe in year two, I'll explore relationship stuff. But for right now, I'm here to get bigger. Ha look at, wow. Look at that chick. That is a, that is a style. Of, what do, okay, Alex, here we go. Mm. This is not going to be saved, but what should we name this uh, baby chick? Uh, chick Correa. Oh boy! All right, there's a there is a twelve character. Uh, limit I think here, it will so. fit. All right, Correa, e A R C O R R E A. If I'm if I'm remembering correctly. Oh. You know, what, let me double check my spelling just because I don't want to be disrespectful here. Well, this will fit. If okay, I, no, it's I, just I, one R, but otherwise, okay, yes. Okay, great. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. I uh, cannot change this later. No Yay. It's perfect. <laughs> it is perfect. Uh, let's go take a look in town. So let's pop out of here. Uh, the other option was Chick Hearn. Oh, that's pretty good, too. Um, you can do cooking. Um... You know, you have a lot of recipes here, and you, uh, if you have the ingredients either in your inventory or in the fridge, you, c you can make those, and you can kind of see with the exclamation point there, it'll tell you where you're storing the um, ingredients. As you build a bigger house, you get a bigger fridge space, though it does seem like it kind of just separates it off into two fridges, mm. uh, so I kind of wish those were connected. Old two um, fridges caravella, that's what we call you. <laughs> And you can get um, you get stamina boosts. You, you get more health back by, by cooking stuff and eating it. You can also take a bath if you want to regain some stamina. I think it burns about 20 minutes, uh, 20 minutes or a half hour off the clock. So, you know, whether you're battling for stamina or time on the clock, that is your choice. Uh, to mm -hmm. Spend how you wish. Uh, we're going to ignore our farm today. We're going to go uh, quickly take a look at the town. Go out on okay. the town. So I am enjoying this game. Again, you get, oh, frame rate. Um, I am enjoying this, and I, I am going to keep playing this after this um, quick look. They did put out a patch to try and address some of the issues with the performance. I don't think it made that big a difference, or at least I didn't right. notice it. Uh, some of the loading times may have improved a bit. There are some loading times uh, when you're doing this stuff, going back and forth a lot. Like these can get in the way. These can get in the way. There are going to be loading times for entering each house. Uh, and again, those can kind of get in the way as well uh, of some of the enjoyment. So if you're doing this stuff where you're like, okay, I'm going into town, I'm gonna go buy some upgrades. Oh, okay, again, there might be some story stuff. Let's go talk to this spirit. What's up with the hippie lady? You know, I'll let, I'll let those who are exploring the game figure that out. Okay. There's a thousand year slumber involved, I'm getting that. Uh,
We sure have. They eat my crops. They don't eat my crops. Oh, they gotta do the frolicking. It's very important. Uh huh. She's happy. The, That's good. If the Earth sprites right. can't frolic, I mean, what's even the point? <laughs> uh, here's a quick tour of town. Are you ready, Alex? All right. Yes. All right. All right. We've got uh, uh, the animal shop. That's where you're gonna buy your animals. You got your general uh, seed store, and your general store is where you're gonna buy your seeds. I'm not gonna go in all of them because, like I said, yeah, the load enough. times can be a little bit. Uh, big. You got your bait shop, uh, or this is uh, Marcos's house, but I think this is where you get your fishing pole initially. I'm What's sure up with the admiral there? He's a townie. Mm -hmm. He's kind of uh, uh, George. I'm very excited. Uh, I made him happy. Uh, bistro. Uh, go buy yourself a little. Uh, get yourself a little coffee there. I don't. These these stores I don't go in that much. The grocery store. Um, this one I go in a lot. This is to upgrade your house and some of your farm stuff. Okay. Uh, like like bigger barn in that nonsense. This is where I've been in the most. Is where you upgrade your tools. Mm -hmm. uh, let's jump in here. I don't think I don't think it's gonna be open yet. Oh yeah, it is. It's nine o'clock. Um. Hey. So hey. you can upgrade. Hey. Uh, next is up on my list is the Oracalcomax. Mm -hmm. 150 grand. Uh, expensive. But uh, you go through. You upgrade your tools. Uh, in the priority, obviously that you think they are worth it. I have. I mean, get so that myself. silver watering can, man. It's, it's cheap. It's nothing. That golden bucket, the golden bucket. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But what am I gonna use it for? I don't know. <laughs> what am I gonna do with it? it? I wish I could upgrade the bag more. I cannot. At some point, they talked about maybe upgrading my motorcycle, but uh, maybe I just misread it. Uh, I did drive in here on a, a little. I would call it more like a scooter, but they call it a mm. motorcycle. Um, all right. So this part here is a little Animal Crossing esque. Again, I'm gonna use that for reference. I don't know if these have been in this game before. I apologize, but uh, that's my point of reference. Where you can go and you can donate stuff to the museum. The museum is not super great. Uh, I was gonna say, it seems pretty small, actually. Uh, this is, you, you take pictures with your camera of certain wildlife, uh, give them the picture, and then they'll make a statue of it. Oh, uh, okay. So these yeah. are not stuffed animals. You did not murder these no. and then bring them to the museum. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, and then uh, this is this is actually a little disappointed down here. Um, when you catch a fish or a sea creature, you can also donate it to the museum. Uh, but um, they don't swim you know, together. They, and they kind of just show you the silhouette, and then they kind of don't show you the fish anymore. Oh, this is not that great. No, that's not that great. So, yeah, I don't love that. Um, I wish that were better. I wish that were better. Uh, let's go back upstairs. Uh, another part of the museum is the treasures part. I'm sorry, was someone just living in the basement of that museum? <laughs> Somebody's living kind of everywhere in the, okay. in the town. There is a kitchen down there for sure. Uh, this is These are treasures you found uh, that you can also donate to the museum. Uh, you get these bags of treasure, and we'll see if this opens up at 10. It might just be closed for today, but uh, I'll see if I can donate a treasure. It is uh, after or, 10. Sorry, yeah, it might just be closed today. Let's check the old. Who closes the old on Thursday? Uh, the museum apparently closes on Fuck Thursday. That. Uh, so you would normally bring those um, your loot box here, your time worn object or your heavy object. They would appraise it, and you'd get whatever's in the, you know, in there. It could be a mm -hmm. piece of silver ore. It could be a stone. Whatever it is, you'd get it. Um, she's the one who works at the museum. All right, well. Old lady, horny. Uh, I guess so. Um, you can pick up uh, requests over here on the bulletin board. Uh, hey, I want 20 clay. The nice thing is if you have it on you, you just hit, all right. I don't want to help that guy. That guy is that, skeeving me out. That's the mayor. Uh, Mayor's skeeving me out, man. And then uh, I have now uh, fulfilled that request. The bad thing is, oh, look at me, I'm a local celebrity. The bad thing is, if you don't have the thing on you, then you're you're hauling your butt back home <laughs> and come back. There's the mayor. What's up, mayor? Mayor? You okay? I can just hear that guy's voice in my head. Ma mayor? T talks? Some someone stole the mayor's brain! Mm. <laughs> well, I'm so uh, eager for the spirit festival! That's what he right, sounds yes. like in my brain. He's got a little, like, uh, Powerpuff Girl mayor. Uh... All right, well, 
think the mayor's a little sunk. The mayor is on, uh... Mayor is on that dust. <laughs> the, mayor, the mayor's hanging out just to get a lot of work done over mayor's there. Mayor's in a K-hole. <laughs> Can't wait for the spirit festival. <laughs> Um, all right, so that's, um, that's most of the town. Up here is a park. This is where that, uh, sprite was. That's the ranger's house. Um, okay. You're gonna get little things that look like little gophers. Those are the spirits. You can see that icon in the upper right. Mm -hmm. You can then sp spend them and boost max stamina some more, which is, I, I do want that. Um... I do want that. So, do it. Uh, I'm gonna sh back out and then I'm gonna do it. So you can see I have, uh, I'm on my second row of hearts there. I have two. Yeah. Let's see how many of this gets me. One more heart. Yeah. Two points, there you go. Okay, so two uh, two more hearts there. So that's a permanent upgrade. There's a, our spirit friend. What else? What else? I'm gonna go back um, to my farm. Uh, so you can maintain relationships with all these people. You can give them gifts. Mm -hmm. You can do all of that if you so desire. You can track that stuff. Look at this. Look at all these folks in this town. Oh, yeah. You want to get in there. You want to fill these hearts up and get a gift there and then get give in them, there. I think, a, I think a blue feather. I think that's the, uh, I think that's the mayor's son. Um, you could do, you could do that. I'm here to farm and mostly make a lot of money. Let me let me ask you uh, the most important question, Vinny, since we haven't really yeah. addressed it yet. Um, obviously, okay. you put about 25 hours into this thing, and uh, I would yeah. go out of my... My guess would be you would not do that if you were not enjoying yourself at all. But, like, how are you finding this? Other Like, technical issues aside, are you having a good time with this game? Is this something you want to keep playing long term? Yeah. So, uh, if we take the technical stuff out, I am really enjoying it. I think this maker business with not being able to um, queue stuff up in the makers drives mm -hmm. me a little bananas. Uh, this ritual I have to do every, you know, whatever it is, a yes. couple of in-game in hours to collect everything kind of drives me bananas. But the loop has been steady and the gameplay uh, satisfaction loop has been pretty good that I am enjoying. And I think I am going to try and max out a bit of this uh, farm to see where this all goes. At least get that last building on my farm done. Let me see sure. that chomping through the grass there. So yeah, I am. Um, it put. I think it puts that last uh, official harvest moon, and that's a game to shame. Uh, I think. Uh, well, that it doesn't take much to put that game to shame because <coughs> that thing seemed like a mess. Yeah. So I don't know if that's even a fair comparison. Something like a Stardew Valley, which is is kind of uh, you know held up uh, uh, rightfully so uh, uh, as something that has moved this whole thing forward. It's different, um, but it is, it is, that game has its own charm, and this is a very different charm to it. I think I like the Stardew Valley tone a little bit more than this, but I, you know, I dig what's going on here, and like I said, I think the progression in here, it's not punishing at all. It's, right. It's very, fair, it's very forgiving. There's actually even an easier mode you can put it on, I think, that gives you a little more compensation for selling your crops, but, you know, I'm at a point now where I want it to be in these games. I've got these sprinkler systems set up. I want, I wish I could automate a little bit more. I think I said this before, these games appeal to my factory building, the same thing that makes me want to build those factory games. It's the build a, build a machine that generates more stuff, right? And that's right. what I want to do. I want to build... I want to build the ever escalating wave of, okay, now I'm making $200. Now I'm making $400. Now I'm making $5,000 at a clip. Now I'm making 20 grand. You know, I love that uh, loop. And when it, when it, when it's payday here on the farm, oh mm -hmm. boy, I love it. Uh, watch okay, out. so watch out. Uh, Dadissima is here to get paid. So you also have these things, uh, these sprites that are another part of this game. And I'm going to go to the earth sprite village. You find these little sprites, these are little gopher-like things that pop out sometimes when you're doing uh, certain activities. You amass them uh, as an ongoing number, and then you can kind of assign them out to, you know, do different tasks. So, uh, hey, like you want them to go collect grass for you? And that's not weed, that is just grass. Like you mm -hmm. can, you, you, you can split them up uh, this would be the fish one here. I haven't bought that yet because I don't necessarily need them doing that. I'm not exactly sure what this, this one is. We're going to find out. I just got it. So I'm going to divvy out some more of these guys. 
it's not a lot, at least where I'm at. Um, I've tried putting, just stacking like 100 on something to see if it would get me a lot more. It doesn't seem like that much, but I'll show you what I mean. So then you assign them out here, they run around, they do their business, and then you can talk to these guys and they'll be like, um, oh, let's put some tools away. Uh, again, sorry, I'm not spending all my time doing the inventory management, but um, he's gonna get me some grass. There you go. I just got like 30 grass. Like, ah, eh. all right. It'll take me about in game 30 seconds. Um, stone. I've got over a thousand stone. Don't necessarily need it. So it's it's interesting. Oh, I, huh, 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 huh. huh. Let's. Huh. All right. Let's just drop some stuff on the floor. Oh, I'll put my camera. Yeah, on. you don't care. You're not keeping the save. What do I, yeah, what, three slots? What, what do I, I wonder what's going on here. Um, all right, let's just drop this stuff. Like, how many different things are we getting from this guy? Oh, look at that. Okay. Huh. So, th so that's a new one for me. I, ha I hadn't. Um, I hadn't collected those. That's more interesting. This is uh, food. Okay, that's cool. That That's a helpful one, so you don't have to cook as much, maybe. Um, okay, let's see what this is. This is animal care. So maybe this is like fodder. Uh, it still pains me. I can't drop certain things on the ground because it takes so long to process or collect, uh, even though I'm not keeping the save. Okay, an egg and fodder. Okay, that makes sense. I wonder if it would give me milk as well. Uh, and this would give you wood. All right. So that's, that's what happens here. I do believe... I do believe... Um, I do. So you can unlock this, these things, these other gardens. Uh, and these are really interesting because they um, allow you to have permanent seasons in this like pocket dimension. Okay. So here in the Horf Horfrost Gardens, it's always winter. I can always plant winter crops here. So I, I just unlocked this. I haven't had a chance to really develop anything or really test it out. I'm assuming you can place um, like sprinklers and, and develop this land in a way you like. Obviously it's detached from your main area. So you're not just running back and forth with the resources, but I assume if you bring the resources in here, you'd be able to drop them in and have a little, um, you know, winter plantation. Yeah. Uh, which, is, which is neat. And I think, you know, they had the ability to unlock three other ones Mm -hmm. that had names that sounded like, oh, you'll get the spring, autumn, and summer ones eventually as well. Uh, uh, I do believe also you can, by getting mastery or certain levels in things like mining or wood chopping, that you can get special areas that are just for chopping wood and just for breaking rocks mm -hmm. that will let you um, find certain ores in, in greater abundance or certain trees if you need them. So uh, again, this game is pretty forgiving. It's I don't it doesn't feel like it's out there to punish you. I don't find it very challenging. My son's playing it is also making pretty speedy progress. Um, it, it is not a difficult game to yeah. progress in. Uh, it is fairly time consuming. Uh, but that's and, the point. Yes, I think the point might very well be to consume time. Yes. Uh, but because some of these things seem. Uh, set up artificially to do that in ways that, uh, again, I, I said this probably during Dyson Sphere. A lot of these games come to how much of this stuff can you put up with? Mm -hmm. uh, for, you know, and this one has its share of like, oh, yeah, I wish this were better. But um, in the patch notes, I saw, because again, there was just a recent patch, it did say on the horizon they were going to address some of this maker stuff. And I don't know if that means. Um, you know, fixing or addressing some of the things I don't like about it, or if they just mean frame rate stuff, or like maybe yeah. maybe the maker stuff, maybe having too many makers kills the frame rate. I don't know. Could be. So I I hope it's like, hey, you can queue stuff up or or have a bin. And I haven't made it through every everything and all the tech trees. I'm gonna go one more time into here. But you can make a lot of these things, and some of them I haven't even made. Um, there's stuff for textiles that I haven't gone into too much yet. Um, I haven't done condiments yet. Uh, you know, I got focus, man. I got focus to make my money. Uh, and, and that's my farm. And that's what I've been doing in Story of Seasons here. I think it is a good game. I think it is uh, hampered by some tech, unfortunate technical problems mm -hmm. um, that uh, on the Switch here make it less than ideal. 
Yeah, and so currently nothing announced as far as the platforms go. No. Uh, this is fifty dollars uh, if you are investing on Switch. Yeah, it's fifty dollars. I should say they offer, or at least when I went to um, the Xseed site, um, they they have this thing called the digital expansion pass for twenty bucks. That if you're into the series, might add some stuff you you would be interested in. Again, twenty dollars for an expansion pass. And they say they offer a bundle. Uh, I couldn't find it. I asked you to take a look. You didn't seem to be able I to find it either yeah, for I sale. Yeah, I couldn't find it. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure what the story is for that. That would make it $70 if you want to get in on that, or they're going to sell it separately for $20. Um, but uh, yeah, $50 on the Switch. Will it come to other platforms or, or PC? I don't know. I didn't see anything announced when I went to go look it up. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it, Alex. I, I will probably keep going. It'll probably be my game I kind of chill and relax to uh, uh, for a while here, at least until I max out a few more things or, or figure out a better way to get work, Alcum. I mean, uh, look, I'm just, I'm glad you found one of these that uh, that, that scratches that itch, because boy howdy, that other one certainly wasn't doing it. That other one was not good, and it made me jump back into Stardew, which was good for purposes of, of comparison for this. I think Stardew's still an amazing game. Uh, uh, but this is pretty good uh, as well. If you like what you see, again, it's on the Switch. 50 bucks. Thanks for joining me, Alex Navarro. Thank you, Vinny.